In this video, I wanted to show you how we could take a photo like this one and turn it into a photo card like this one. So once you have the photo that you want to use, make sure you're in the Layers module. And the first thing we want to do is duplicate the background. So right click, duplicate the layer, and then turn that background layer off. Then come up to your layer copy and we're going to add an empty layer and then we're going to fill this in with white so come up here to the fill tool and it defaulted to black so we need to click on that and change it to white or whatever color you want to use I'm just using white for this tutorial and then with make sure that that layer is still selected and just click on the canvas anywhere and it fills it in with white then the next thing we're going to do is come up to the Select Area tool and we want to choose the ellipse. So click on to the ellipse. And to get the ellipse you just see this little triangle in the bottom right here. Just click on that and that will give you the ellipse. And then I'm going to change the feather to I'm going to change it to about 88 and then just click approximately in the area where you want the photo to be and then just drag. Just click and drag. And if you don't like that selection that you just made, clear that selection and just start over. And just keep doing that until you have a good selection. Just click that. The next thing we want to do is delete the selection and it's going to reveal the image beneath. So we can see underneath here. But before we do anything else, we need to clear that selection. So you can either click Clear Selection or you can choose Command D and clear that selection. So let's clear that. And now go onto that layer to the photo below and choose the Pick and Move tool. And then just click on that image and move it to where you want it to be. About there. And the next thing I'm going to do is come back up to this layer and I'm going to be adding an express template. So come up to the layer manager and I already created this template. I used an app on my phone to create this text and then I just exported it to my desktop. Oops. So here it is. Double click. So I'll, create, I'll make a video, a tutorial on how to do that as well. Make that a little bit bigger and then just move it over a bit. Let's turn that off because it keeps jumping to that layer every time I try to select this. So let's move that over a little bit. Turn that layer back on. And that looks good. And you can just play with it if you're not happy with it. Just keep resizing it and moving it. But I'll accept that. And then to save this, just go save to. Save as a new photo file. And you can save it either as a PHI or a PNG or a JPEG. If you save it as a PHI, it will retain all of these layers. Little boy. Yeah. and you can save that and then if you after it saves and you want to save it also as a JPEG just change this extension and save it again and then if you want to save it as a PNG you can save it again so that's it I hope you like this video